Hey, how's it going everyone? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a brand new way to get to the mountaintops at level 1 and do the rune farm glitch. What you want to do is arrive at the Rampart Tower right at the start and then dive right down here. Once you've done so, you can then drop below and pick up this if you would like and then continue to drop again. What you're going to notice is when you come up to this ledge, you will then take a step off and you'll notice that it will break through. Do not worry, you will survive the fall and as you take a left, you are going to proceed along this path. You'll notice a crucible will come out of nowhere. The best way to deal with this mini boss is to pretty much send him down the elevator or send him up so that he can then fall down below. Let me show you what I mean. So what we are going to do is go around him so that we go through the way that he just came out of. You're going to proceed up and eventually you will come towards this lift. What we want to do is wait for him and then trigger the lift. You can either cause him to fall down or down in the actual trap hole there or the elevator hole, whatever. Anyways, go to the round table and pick up this item right here so you can then cast some incantations. Once you have done so, we are going to proceed to the next step, which is quite easy. We need to head to a specific Lost Grace. We will want to fast travel to the Stormhill Shack, which is right at the start. Now, I am using a New Game Plus character. This is why all these Lost Grace are unlocked. You eventually will come across the Untouched Catacombs. This is the Lost Grace that we need to head to. You'll then go down. As you go down, turn around and then take a left. As you proceed forward, take another left, and then in this room, you can pick up the Uchi Katana. The reason why we do have this is so that we can then use a bleed damage on a specific dragon, which is located right over here at Fort Faroth. Once you are here, you will see the big old dragon, and we will want to equip the Uchi Katana. We want to proceed forward, and we are going to slash away at this dragon. What you are going to notice when you do this a few times with the Uchi Katana, the bleed damage will take a chunk of the dragon's health. A majority of you should know this if you have followed my previous videos on doing the glitch, because, well, of course, we're not going to do that. We just want the dragon heart. You then want to go to one of the dragon cathedrals and purchase one of the incantations. From there, head back to the first step, and then we want to head to this tower right here. Once you have reached this destination, you can then proceed up the tower and open up this chest. This is going to be a trap that will send you straight to the Divine Bridge. Once you are here, sit up the Lost Grace, then get out of it, open up your map, and you are going to make this specific Lost Grace your marked side of grace. This is going to favorite. We then want to use the Memory of Grace, open up the map, and then click on our favorite Lost Grace. This is going to fast travel us right at the start here, so do not move like I did. Just quit and then join back. You will then teleport here, and you then want to proceed forward and take the lift up. Proceed forward and you will arrive right here in the middle of the city. You can get here by just going forward, dropping down below on the buildings and then reaching the main road and then proceeding towards the east. Open up the door and then from there continue to go forward. You'll take a left up and then you will arrive here. You'll notice that there's a golden door. This is where the glitch is going to come in hand. What we want to do is equip everything that we just picked up. Now, that includes the incantations, the way to cast the incantations. So what you want to do is use the Crucible Horns all the way, and then use your Dragon Spell right afterwards. That's it. That's literally it. Make sure that you hold the Crucible Horns down all the way, and then switch to your spell, or I mean the incantation. And what that's going to do is then slide you forward. Now what we want to do is proceed up and then what you're going to notice right here is going to be a long sprint. You can do this by simply using your mount and then proceeding forward. You're going to notice that your mount's not going to actually come out. What's going to happen is it's going to buff your speed when you sprint. And then we want to go along the wall here and walk slowly so that we do not fall. The barrier is there and it will kind of push you away. So. Once you reach this part, you can then sprint and then try to jump over the left side there. If you fail to do so, just jump back up and then try again. As I'm doing right here, it's pretty easy to get back up and jump to the left and there we go. Now you can head directly towards the grand lift. Once you are there, just rinse and repeat the same steps where you use the memory of grace 
and then you fast travel back towards the actual Castle Ward tunnel and then leave the game, join back, and this will then take you to the next spot without using the medallions. You can then head forward towards the Lost Grace called Zamora Runes. What you want to do is go towards the entrance where you just were at the lift and go towards the left or right side depending on which way you're looking at it and double jump off. You want to land directly right here. A lot of you should know this method. You will receive a dialogue asking you where you want to spawn at, so you will then choose the left option. You will arrive at the hidden path, go forward, and then take a left, then a right, and you will uh, then arrive outside of the snowfields. You can do any rune farm that you've done in the past from this channel. It's really up to you. Nothing's new with that. It's just completely up to you now. Level 1. You can even do this at level 8 if you choose that character. It's all up to you what you want to do, guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know what you think down below. Subscribe, turn on the notifications if you are new, and I will see you all on the next video.